two and three sessions together. Right? So we can just uh, finish out here. So now we're going to <coughs> the, the second paper, which is for, uh, by Ines Caritano and Antonio Leitao. I think you're Ines, right? Yes. <laughs> You must be. <laughs> Which is uh, entitled Behind Algorithmic Geometry Patterns, a framework for uh, facade design exploration. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Iris Catano, and uh, I'm going to present a paper Behind Algorithmic Geometric Patterns, a framework for facade design exploration. This paper is also authored by Antonio Leitão. We both came from the Institute Superior Technic from Lisbon. <clears throat> In this presentation, we start with um, a brief summary of the research background. Then we present the, the methods and the theory that proposed. And finally, we evaluate the results and make some final considerations. So regarding the first part, these researches address the, the fact that architectural problems are unique because they are the natural product of several context-specific requirements such as environmental performance, spatial comfort, ec and economic constraints. And this, com when combined with the architect's creative nature and the client's preferences, this process uh, grows in complexity, making it difficult to use the same uh, approach in different scenarios. Moreover, given the short deadlines of most projects and sometimes also the lack of flexibility of the design tools used, exploring a wide range of solutions is often not viable, uh, not only hindering the architect's potential, creative potential, but also leaving many design scenarios unexplored. This becomes especially evident in the, building, in the design of building facades due to the need to consider their multiple functions, such as uh, aesthetics, urban communication, lighting, thermal, ventilation, and also functional and economic constraints. Nevertheless, given the potential of algorithmic design, a design approach based on algorithms to improve design processes, we propose its use in architectural practice. <clears throat> Nevertheless, despite its multiple advantages, such as increasing the design freedom, automating repetitive tasks, Algorithmic design is a complex and abstract design approach uh, that requires programming skills, which most architects do not have. So to make its use more accessible to a wider community of, arch of architects and improve their design processes, we propose a mathematical theory handling the complexity and variability of most design problems that contains several predefined strategies uh, organized in a multidimensional classification. The aim is to guide the selection of the best suiting algorithms according to the design scenario and the problem, and combining them in the development of new solutions <coughs> that not only meet the creative intents of the architect and the performance criteria, but also are feasible in terms of costs and resources in manufacturing. Nevertheless, given the uniqueness and context specificity of design pro problems, we do not expect this, this matching pro process to heal the complete algorithmic solution. And thus, we assume the architects are, are still responsible for dividing the design, the design into smaller parts, identifying the sta and establishing the dependencies between them, combining the different algorithmic strategies uh, dealing with the different parts, and also implementing additional algorithms when needed. Regarding the methodology used in this research, we took advantage of design pa patterns, strategies, to facilitate facade design processes based on algorithmic design and reduce the time and effort spent on algorithmic related uh, tasks, freeing the architect from having to write all algorithms from scratch and avoiding programming errors. Also guide the selection and combination of the algorithms and, algorithms and thus making it easier to deal with its multiple requirements. Also smooth the transition between different design stages in solving uh, most uh, of the interoperability issues that exist between design tools and also minimizing uh, potential errors. And facilitating the conversion of the resulting models into physical ones by automatically adapting their structure according to the manufacturing means. 
This research extends uh, our previous work presented uh, also at this conference by placing particular emphasis on the geometric exploration and concretization of three-dimensional elements. To that end, we adopted a methodology encompassing the identification of the most relevant facade design trends in, term, in terms not only of geometric creation but also manipulation and materialization. Their translation into mathematical formalisms and the extension of the theory, also the elaboration of algorithmic strategies for their fabrication and implementation of the previous strategies in the framework. Regarding the mathematical theory, consider as a starting point the previous one, who, um, which organized the mathematical principles uh, by type and role in facade design processes in the following uh, groups, geometry, distribution, pattern, optimization, and rationalization. Uh, in the proposed theory, the mathematical for formalisms regard building facades as two-dimensional parametric surfaces, whose shape can be defined by selecting algorithms from the geometry group. Along this surface, we can distribute one or more geometric elements according to different configurations, which are available in the distribution group. And by combining these two types of algorithms with uh, those available in the pattern group, we can originate several geometrical patterns whose geometric complexity and variability depend on the type and number of algorithms selected, which can either target the creation or manipulation of different shapes. So as a result, the more algorithms are selected, the more complex the, the design will be. Then to control the shape of, um, of the created pattern according to one or more performance criteria, we can select algorithms from the optimization group, and to make them feasible for fabrication, we can select those available in the rationalization group. The current research extends this classification by not only adding more algorithms target, targeting the creation and manipulation of three-dimensional elements to the pattern group, but also adding the fabrication group to materialize the resulting solutions. So regarding the pattern group, it contains algorithms to create different facade patterns resulting from the repetition of one or more geometric element along the facade surface. In the past, we focused on one and two dimensional ones, and now we develop formal methods for creating, manipulating, and materializing three dimensional ones. Regarding the mathematical structure, all algorithms receive a set of points for placing purposes, uh, plus a set of uh, additional inputs that depend on the type of element we are creating. So while a rectangular element, for instance, receives a length, a width, and a placement angle, the cuboid element receives the same, uh, the same distances, plus a height and two placement angles. So when combined with the algorithms of the geometry and distribution groups, these algorithms will also extract different types of information that depend on the received input. So while a rectangle needs the, the surface points and a normal vector, the cuboid also receives a tangent vector for placement. In addition to regular geometries, we also added more complex 3D shapes resulting from constructive solid geometries or more complex modeling uh, operations such as morphing, lofting, bending, among others. And these include non-standard bricks, irregular tiles or panels, complex trusses, among others. One example is uh, the algorithm producing a type of Kobogo brick, which receives a set of points defining its outer frame shape, two placement angles for its spatial orientation, the thickness of its outer frame, the length of its uh, outer frame, and to create the inner elements, it receives a radio size and also a geometric rule to guide their uh, configuration, which can follow different orientations, uh, such as these ones. These are some examples. By varying the set of points of its outer frame, we obtain differently shaped elements that adapt to the different rules selected. Given the framework's flexibility, we can now combine this algorithm in different and independent ways with the other available uh, in the geometry and distribution groups and create differently shaped uh, elements and compositions. So 
When combining with a regular grid of points, for instance, uh, we can obtain a set of equally sized uh, Kobogo elements with the dimensions and the geometric rules set in the algorithm. To do this, we benefit from broadcasting techniques, which allow us to apply the algorithm shape Kobogo to an array of element, elements with a higher number of dimensions than those expected, as it, as it happens with its first, uh, first argument, which is expecting a one-dimensional array, but receives a two-dimensional one. <coughs> Given the ability of broadcasting to independently assign the algorithm Kobogo, uh, shape Kobogo to the received arrays, we can make it alternate between different <coughs> rules. For instance, if, if, if we provide it with a set of rules, such as these ones, and make the later selection random by adding the algorithm random to the previous composition. And we obtain a, a pattern like this one. When, and we can proceed testing other variations and apply, for instance, different opacity levels that decrease along the facade's height or that are randomly controlled. We can also combine the, this algorithm with a larger number of rules and obtain a more complex pattern made of different rules or also made of different rules in different opacity levels. We can also make the, the Kawago elements uh, irregular by simply, simply transforming the set of positions that shape their outer frame, making their uniform distribution uh, vary in both dimensions. For that, we can select the transformation algorithm translate to move the surface points according to different vectors and combine it with the random algorithm. If we combine the resulting set of positions with those creating the Kobogo bricks, we obtain different least shaped uh, Kobogo elements, in this case using randomly selected rules again, and also randomly selected rules and opacities. Regarding the fabrication group, it contains algorithms to materialize the solutions uh, through different <coughs> manufacturing techniques and materials. So when combined with the previous algorithms, they, uh, these algorithms suggest different fabrication strategies that depend on the geometric characteristics and materiality of the uh, shapes to produce. Automate the production of the technical documentation needed for each one and increase the control over the manufacturing process uh, by increasing the efficiency, accuracy, and its viability. For example, to fabricate this regular element, it would produce a 3D model containing the printer head paths in case we select 3D printing, different profiles if we select the sectioning strategy, a 3D mold with the negative shape of the element if we opt for casting, or 2D drawings with different line types defining the areas to cut, engrave, or fold in case we opt for laser cutting. So as an example, imagine we want to produce this set of irregular Kobogo elements as these ones, and we select the 3D printing uh, algorithm for their production. So when combining the algorithm with those producing the geometric elements, the geometric Kobogo elements, we automatically convert the 3D shapes into paths for the printer, uh, for the 3D printer. And when planning these paths, the algorithm considers different printing specificities such as material resolution, the layer, the material, the printer resolution, <coughs> the, layer, the material thickness, the printing strategy that we want to use. And therefore the result will be different numbers of paths with, with, with different distances between them and also different trajectories. Note that this conversion from a 3D model into one prescribing the printer head paths causes cause structural changes to the algorithm. The originally used geometric solid primitives being now replaced by path operations whose distribution is controlled by the previous parameters. As another example, imagine we opt to produce these elements through casting strategies. When combining the forming algorithm with the ones producing the bricks, we automatically obtain the 3D models of their negative shapes, together with more information such as different number of uh, molds, material, material quantities, and among others. As in this case, both the original and translated models correspond to 3D shapes but invert, inverse shapes, 
The original and converted algorithms will also apply the same primitives, but uh, in different ways. Having the modes 3D models, the possibilities for their production are the same as for the Cobogo bricks, making it possible to combine with other fabrication algorithms and, for instance, plan the paths for the 3D printing or set the instru instructions for their CNC milling. As a last example, if we opt for the sectioning <coughs> strategy, we combine the corresponding algorithm available in the framework, producing um, obtaining a set of profiles con whose number is controlled by the number of profiles parameter and whose superposition creates the intended shape. Regarding the resulting mathematical structure, this combination originates a new algorithm using the same solid geometric primitives but in different ways. In this case, given the small thickness of each profile, we can decide to manufacturing them, for instance, using laser cutting techniques and combining it with the corresponding algorithm. As a result, each, uh, each frame is now converted in, into 2D drawings describing the plotted areas for the laser cut, cutter head to pass. Regarding the algorithmic structure of the, that results from this combination, it causes more radical changes because the originally used geometric primitives in this case are also replaced by path operations defining the contour shapes of the, the different elements. Based on the proposal implementation and application in different uh, case studies, we believe that its mathematical nature makes its principles easy to implement in any AD tool for architectural design, either using visual or textual programming. In this research, you focused on the textual one due to having uh, the scalability and expressiveness needed to solve more complex problems. Opting for the Capri AD tool due to its portability among different uh, design tools. And we compare the results with other state-of-the-art AD tools in terms of geometric exploration and fabrication. Within the scope of building facades, there are already uh, some AD tools supporting the algorithmic development of new design solutions, which include Paracloud Gem and several Dynamo and Grasshopper plugins. Despite facilitating typical modeling tasks of a say, design process, being intuitive and easy to use, providing several predefined uh, functionalities, these tools present some uh, limitations such as requiring frequent manual-based interaction and sometimes fa favoring user-driven process that can be tiresome and user-error-prone, suffering from the scalability and performance limitations of visual programming, especially when dealing with larger um, solutions, providing a limited set of predefined operators that are difficult to adapt to more specific uh, problems, and this often, re often requires using text or programming, and poorly addressing uh, some facade-related concepts like materiality and tectonics. Our proposal tries to address most of these limitations by increasing the architect's design freedom and automating repetitive and error-prone tasks, and thus minimizing manual interventions, facilitating programming tasks and reducing the time and effort spent in them, smoothing the transition between design stages and the coordination of their different uh, and specific requirements, and addressing the solutions, uh, materiality and concretization, making it easier to consider different manufacturing scenarios. These advantages in turn not only increase the time available for creative exploration tasks, but also the design space explored and the chance of, the chance of finding solutions that are better in terms of uh, design intent, uh, performance or feasibility. They also reduce uh, several interoperability issues resulting from the transition between specialized tools and the tendency to accumulate errors. Regarding uh, algorithmic design tools for manufacturing, relevant example includes also plugins for Grasshopper, Dynamo and Blender. Despite providing ready-to-use functionalities that can be easily combined to solve common manufacturing tasks, these tools uh, are mostly based, again, on visual programming languages, whose limitations sometimes hindering the manufacturing of more complex solutions, are often too specific, forcing architects to use multiple AD tools or plugins to access different construction schemes, 
and often depend on time consuming and error prone manual or script based interventions, not fully automating the conversion and the extraction of technical documentation. Given the uniqueness of design problems, these interventions are, are hardly reused in different projects without major modifications, therefore hindering the testing of different manufacturing scenarios and construction schemes. Our framework smooths the transition, the design to manufacturing transition due to allowing to benefit from higher levels of, of geometric freedom at these stages enabling the use of the same algorithmic description to access different manufacturing scenarios and automating the production of technical documentation according to the different means of manufacturing means available and thus increasing the control over uh, these different strategies. Based on the result, we conclude the proposed formal approach as enough flexibility to coordinate the geometric exploration of asset design solutions of different volumetric compositions and their concretization using different manufacturing means and strategies. As a still ongoing investigation, we plan to extend it with more advanced features, such as extending the range of shapes supported, adding cost and machining time control strategies, including a recommended system comparing the trade-offs resulting from different requirements in manufacturing scenarios, add material pre precision and finished quality related requirements and automatically adjusting the sensibility of different requirements according to each manufacturing technique. Uh, with this, I end this presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.